Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to look at problems involving laws of exponents. And at this point, you should be fairly familiar with the basic laws of exponents. You have them here in your notes with nice examples. I will point out there's one small misprint in this, the quotient rule. Uh, if we are dividing a to the nth power and a to the nth power, that's actually a to the m minus n power. You can see that in the example there. So you're going to want to make that change. Okay. So we're going to do a couple problems together here. Let's get rid of my writing here. So we have four examples here, and they will get progressively more um, tricky as we go along. In this first one, we're just multiplying two expressions. So we're going to take the expressions and just multiply what we see here. Um, I do see we have, we start off with the 2 times 5, so we have 10. We also have x to the fourth times x in the negative second. And I know from the, I'll bring it over, the product rule here, that the rule, if I'm multiplying two things of the same base, a to the m, a to the n, I add their exponents together. Therefore, x to the fourth times x to the negative second, I add those exponents, I have x squared. The y's, I have y to the third, y to the fifth, add the exponents together, I have y to the eighth power. And I do not have any negative exponents in my solution, my simplification here. So we're in good shape, and that problem is considered uh, simplified. All right, let's look at one that's going to get a little bit uh, trickier here. Again, we're multiplying two expressions, but this time I do have a squared behind the first expression. According to the um, order of operations, I do need to square this first set of parentheses first, and I will square everything inside the parentheses. So I will have 3 squared, which is 9, x squared, so I have x squared. And y to the fifth being squared, that is y to the tenth power. The second set of parentheses does not have any kind of exponent on it. I'm just going to rewrite what I see. Now, this problem looks very similar to the first one we had, where we just have two expressions, and we're going to follow the laws of exponents and multiply it across 9 times 2, 18. x squared times x to the seventh, that will be x to the negative fifth. And y to the tenth, y to the negative eighth, that will leave y squared. Now, this problem is not considered simplified yet because I do have a negative exponent here. I have an x to the negative fifth. So on the side here, we have to recall what x to the negative fifth means. x to the negative fifth just means 1 over x to the fifth. It means the reciprocal of x to the fifth. That means that x to the negative fifth is going to become the denominator of the problem. And altogether, what I will have here is 18 y squared over x to the And that is now considered simplified. Okay, let's take a look at the third one here. Third one has a lot going on here. I have a set of parentheses, a fraction here, and it's being raised to negative fifth power. Okay, recall again that power to a power means that we're going to multiply the exponents. So I'm going to start off by doing that here, but I'm going to do it in a slightly different order. Let me deal with the x's and the y's first. x to the fourth raised to negative fifth power is x to the 20th. What, uh, ne negative 20th, let's put the negative in there. That is a negative. y to the fifth raised to negative fifth power would be y to the negative 25th power. And now I get this other thing here. I have negative 2 being raised to negative 5th power. I'm going to write that off to the side here. Let's see if we can make sense of that. We have negative 2 being raised to negative 5th power. Well, that negative 5th power means that two things are happening. First, negative 2 is being raised to the 5th power. And the negative exponent will mean do the reciprocal of it. So this means I need to know what negative 2 to the 5th power is. Well, if you think about negative 2 to the 5th power, that means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, um, it will be 32. And since it is an odd power of a negative number, it will be negative 32. And then this negative fifth power just means that I want the reciprocal of it. So negative 2 to the negative fifth power just means negative 1 over 32. That's a little bit tricky. There's a lot going on there. And then how am I going to put that into my answer? 1 32nd. So I have 1 32nd. And negative. The whole expression is now negative. So I'm going to put a very clear, bold negative here. Okay. Not quite done because we do have two negative exponents here. You can now start to think of negative exponents as somewhat of movement because you're taking the reciprocal. X to the negative 20th means 1 over X to the 20th. So the X to the 20th will end up in the denominator. The Y to the negative 25th is 1 over Y to the 25th. That means that Y to the 25th will come up. If you think about how dividing. Um, Fractions work. So we do have I don't have a lot of space here. So I have y to the 25th over x to the 20th. The 32 is still in the denominator. The whole expression is negative. I'm going to write it a little bit clearer. I'm going to write it over here because I'm going to leave myself a lot of space. My solution is negative y to the 25th over 32x to the 20th. And that is the simplification of that problem. 
That is one of the trickier ones we're going to do. There's a lot of negative exponents there going on. Just remember, a negative exponent means reciprocal. So things will move from numerator to denominator. All right, one last one. All right, here's our last one. Uh, we have a fraction here that's going to be raised to negative second power. Here's my suggestion for you. We have some stuff inside the parentheses that we, in that fraction, that we can simplify. So let's go ahead and simplify that first. Um, we have 9 over 3. Well, 9 over 3 is just a 3. x squared over x to the negative first. Subtract exponents. 2 minus negative 1, that is x to the third. I also have y to the negative third over y to the fourth. Let's write that over here. That's an interesting problem. y to the negative third over y to the fourth. Negative 3 minus 4 is y to the negative seventh. That is the same as 1 over y to the seventh. It actually just means that we will have y to the seventh in the denominator. And it's all being raised to negative second power. The negative second power means we're going to square everything and we're going to take the reciprocal. And I think we can do both of those things at once. 3x cubed, when I square that, I will have 9x to the 6. It now moves to the denominator. y to the 7th squared is y to the 14th. Negative exponent means it moves to the top. It's y to the 14th there. So I have y to the 14th over 9x to the 6th. So laws of exponents. You have a couple more problems to do. Be prepared for questions.